What is up my cranky crew? It's Ethan from Crank Gameplays and today I am finally back from PAX East. It was a long journey, it was a great journey, but I am finally back and back to making videos. Uh, I've missed you, recording room! I've missed you! Ah! So first off, I want to apologize really quick because my schedule got real out of whack and that wasn't supposed to happen. But the last couple days before PAX East, I just completely lost my voice. I don't know what happened, but I just couldn't talk. It was real weird. There's one night in particular where I was just like, oh, my throat is really sore. Uh, uh, uh. And then I woke up the next morning and my voice was just gone. And so I was just like, well, I can't, I can't, I can't do anything. Cause normally when I'm sick, I usually just like push through it and I can record stuff or I'll just record at a slightly lower energy level. But this was just like, I, I can't talk. And that's what I do in, in videos. And so my PAX East prep kind of got fucked up from that. And so I want to apologize, uh, first of all, for not really having consistent videos going up. Um, and then also uh, I went back home uh, after PAX East, which was really nice. It was so nice to see my friends and see my family. Um, but I actually ended up staying home longer than expected. Uh, and so then videos were delayed even more. Uh, but big shout out to Catherine uh, for being awesome and uh, helping me edit the videos that I did have and also editing down some like stream highlights last minute. I was just like, oh, I'm, I have to stay longer than expected. Can you edit this stuff? So she really came in clutch, so. Thanks, Catherine, you're the best. But like I said, I just came back from PAX East. It was such a good East. I love PAX East. I talk about it a lot whenever talking about PAX, but PAX East is my favorite convention uh, and my favorite of the PAXs. It just holds a special place in my heart because it was the very first convention that I went to and uh, this PAX East was actually my fifth one that I've attended. So it was a nice little, oh, a five year milestone. That was nice. Five years ago in 2014, Lil Ethan was like, hey dad, can we go to this gaming convention? And he was like, yeah, I, I guess, sure. So my dad and I went down to, uh, we drove down to Boston, and went to PAX for the first time, and the rest is history. But this PAX was super awesome. It was a lot more chill than usual. I can't really pinpoint why it was more chill than the other conventions that I've gone to, but it was just, I don't know, I think it was because I got to spend more time with my friends than I usually do. Because conventions can be super hectic and everybody is doing a ton of things every single day and like a lot of times our schedules clash and stuff. And then really the only time that we have to hang out is like we go to dinner after the convention or something like that. And then people get tired and don't wanna hang out or whatever. But this PAX East, I got to hang out with my friends a lot more than I usually do. And that was really, really fun because not only did we like get to hang out on the convention floor because like our schedules didn't clash, which was nice. But also after the convention, there was a lot more time to just hang out uh, and go to dinner and just like hang out and walk around in Boston and just, I don't know, it was really nice. I got to spend some quality time with friends that I don't see a lot and that, that was really good. And overall, I think PAX East was just like run better this year. I don't I don't know, everything went really smoothly. There was a couple things like with the signings and stuff that people were worried about, but then there actually wasn't an issue and people are just like kind of freaking out a little bit. So that was a little bit odd, but there wasn't actually an issue. So it, it was fine. Um, and all of the people that work at PAX East, all of the enforcers and the security people and, ev and everybody uh, was, was so awesome this year. And so just a special thank you to all of the people, you know who you are, you're probably not watching this video, but to all of the enforcers and everybody that worked at PAX, thank you so much for, for making it go so smoothly. Uh, and just thank you for, for dedicating, dedicating your time. De oh. Thank you for dedicating your time. And also just for like, getting us around and, and just being cool. And we actually got to go and hang out with uh, a group of the enforcers after PAX, which was really nice. It was just like, ah, oh, look, it's not hectic. We're just uh, hanging out, having fun. And that was really cool. So special thank you to you guys. You're, you're the best, thanks. And also a special thank you to you guys uh, who came to, came to my signing and came to my panel and uh, I saw on the floor and everything. You guys were just, you guys are always so awesome to meet, uh, but you guys are also really respectful all the time. Uh, and you know, you, you don't, you don't push people, you don't shove people, you're not like crazy whenever, whenever I meet you. And that was really nice because, um, conventions, like I've said, it can be really stressful because there's a ton of people going to conventions and stuff like that. And so when I meet you guys there and when I did meet you at PAX, you guys were all really cool, calm, cool, and collected. And that was great. Uh, and you guys are so, so nice and you guys 
like made so many cool, awesome gifts for me, which I never expected. But like, you guys are so talented. So thank you guys so much for for giving me so many nice gifts and just for coming and saying hi. Uh, the signing went like super, super smoothly. I got to meet a bunch of you guys, which was awesome. And then the panel as well uh, was it went so well. I had such a fun time up there on the panel. I was I was a little nervous at first uh, because it was my only my second solo signing that or second solo panel that I've ever done. Uh, and it was my first PAX East one. And they also put me in a real big room. Oh boy. Uh, and so I was a little intimidated because I was just like, that's a very big room. And also this is, this is the first time I've done one at PAX East. But it went super, super well. I was a little bit nervous, uh, but then after a couple of minutes of being up there uh, on the stage, uh, all that nervousness just went away, and you guys were so supportive there, and you guys asked some really good questions as well. Uh, and it was just a fun time. I don't know. There were a lot of funny jokes that happened between, like, me and you guys in the audience, uh, and, like, <laughs> a bunch of funny bits and stuff like that. Um, so for those of you who came to the panel, Thank you guys so much. And for those of you who are watching on Twitch while it happened, thanks for being there. I wish that I could have seen the chat, um, but I, I was not, you know, I can't. <laughs> it went so well. I, I had such a fun time doing that panel and I really, really look forward to doing more stuff like that in, fu in the future with, with other conventions and uh, hopefully I get to do another one at PAX East. And it was just very surreal as well because I've seen so many panels. Not only to do a panel at PAX East is crazy in itself, but also to be able to do a panel in the room that it happened in was really crazy because there's been so many different uh, awesome panels that have gone on in that room and that I've seen over the five years that I've gone to PAX. And so to be able to do a panel in that room was just like, oh, I don't belong here. This is so weird. But it was awesome, so thank you guys for coming out, and also thank you to all my friends who showed up as well. I had a, I had a, little, a little cheer squad right in the front of all my friends, and my dad actually came to the panel as well, which was really cool. So dad, thanks for, thanks for driving all the way the two hours to Boston just to come to my panel. PAX was super, super fun this year. I had such a great time. I got to play a ton of really awesome games this year. I got to just like hang out with my friends. I got to see a bunch of you guys. Uh, I, I tried to walk the floor as much as I could, um, but obviously there's only so many hours in a day um, and I couldn't meet absolutely everybody, but I really tried to, especially on the last day, I tried to walk around as much as I could. So if I didn't see you this year, I'm really, really sorry, but hopefully uh, I can meet you next year or at a different convention. Um, but again, for those of you who like came to the signing just to say hi, thank you guys so much. And it's so crazy like hearing the stories from the signings too because there were so many people that were lining up at like four o'clock in the morning outside the building to make sure that they could get into the signing. And that's just so, so crazy. So uh, thanks for being super dedicated, but also I'm really sorry. There was a little misunderstanding with the signing. I was getting a bunch of tweets of people being like, there's a bunch of people here that like don't even watch your channel, but because they're like one of the only signings today, they wanted to go. Uh, and so people were really upset because they thought that there was a bunch of people in, in my line that didn't watch the channel. But that wasn't the case at all. Like everybody who came up knew the channel and, and watched the videos and stuff. Um, and like also everybody obviously deserves an equal chance to say hi, no matter like what, no matter how dedicated they are to watching the channel and stuff like that. Um, but that was a little bit of a misunderstanding because people thought that there was people online that like shouldn't be there or whatever, but it went super great and everybody was super awesome and very, very happy. So, uh, and I was really happy to meet all of you guys as well. So that was a little bit of a misunderstanding, but it ended up not actually being a problem at all. And it went super great. So again, thanks for coming to that. It was great meeting you guys. And it was also a better system for the signings this year. Instead of doing it out on like the show floor, they did it in a, in a little room, which uh, made it a lot nicer. One, it was a lot more quiet because there wasn't like the convention noise going on in the background. But I think it made it a little bit more intimate and like personal. Um, and that was, that was cool. That was real nice. So good job, Pax. Mm -hmm. And then other than that, I got to play a bunch of cool games. I got to uh, go over to the Finji booth uh, and they made Night in the Woods. And so I got to talk to the creators of Night in the Woods and they're coming out with a new game, Overlands, which is like a turn-based uh, survival game, which looks awesome. And I got to play it for uh, 15 minutes maybe. 
uh, and it's super, super cool. I really like it a lot. I didn't have enough time to play it to like really get into it and fully understand like how to play the game, uh, but it was really interesting and I'm super, super excited to be able to play that game once it's out. Um, and I'm not sure exactly when that's coming out, but expect that on the channel once it does because that game is gonna be awesome. And then on top of that, uh, Brian and I actually did a little hosting thing at the Behemoth booth, which was super, super fun. So if you're not familiar with Behemoth, they made Pit People, which I made some videos on uh, a few months back, I think, and which I plan on playing more of, probably not on the YouTube channel, but I might be streaming that on Twitch soon uh, because I got to play it more at PAX East and I was like, damn, I, I forgot how much I love this game. It's so much fun. I'm terrible at it, just like every game, but it's such a fun game. So I definitely want to play that more. Uh, but they invited, they invited Brian and I to host a little event that they were having. They were having this like uh, little tournament so people could go up uh, and play the game and then uh, there was like this sort of like bracket and then there was one final winner and it went super well It was so much fun. Brian and I did not know what we were doing at all when we were hosting uh, Because we're not like crazy familiar with the game But uh, luckily a woman la named Lacey uh, who is super cool uh, And I believe she works for behemoth, but she knew all of everything about the game So we got to bounce off of her and she would say all of like the strategy and like each uh, all the powers and stuff and abilities that the characters had and then we would just be like yeah Explosions are happening. It's a fun time, <laughs> but it was it was really cool and it was really fun uh, And it was cool to see some of you guys participate in the tournament as well And a bunch of you showed up and were cheering along on the sides and so that was it's just a good time And so big thanks to uh, everybody at behemoth for having us there special thanks to our friend Megan that works over there She's super awesome, and she's the one that invited us uh, to come and play so Megan. Thanks. You're the best That was a lot of fun and then after PAX East um, I got to go back home because I grew up like two hours north of, uh, of where Boston is. And so I got, I got to go back home. Originally, I was only going to go for home for a few days, uh, but then I ended up extending my stay. Um, and so it was really nice to just hang out with my family and hang out with my friends. Also get to see my dogs. It was so great. I miss those guys so much, my little boys. But now I am back and I am super, super pumped to get back into videos. It feels like it's been forever since I've recorded. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm just really excited to get back into it and hopefully get back on a better schedule. There's a lot of stuff coming up uh, that I have to deal with. Um, and so hopefully that won't get too much in the way, but hopefully after those things uh, are over, I can settle in. Uh, and get back and get back down to business a little bit more because I I really just want to start being consistent and now that this is my full-time thing Obviously, it's a lot easier to do that But there's other things in my personal life and stuff that I've got to take care of I'm about to be moving again uh, Not out of LA or anything, but just to a different place And so I've got to move uh, and get that taken care of so hopefully that goes smoothly because I just I just want to get back into making videos I want to get settled down and I want to just like get back into it and just put my nose to the grindstone and really, really have a good time and make a lot of cool stuff and do more streams, make more videos, do more stuff with other people. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Is there anything else that I wanna talk about? I don't think so. I don't know, I've missed you guys a lot. I, I really have. There was uh, there's a lot of stuff going on uh, just like in my life uh, that's been sort of like getting me down a little bit recently. Um, but just having you guys and, and t being able to talk to you guys every day and being able to make these videos, it, it really makes it so much better. Um, and I just have so much fun making videos and I'm glad that you guys enjoy them and I'm excited to get back to it. Oh yeah, let's get back to it. So that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, hopefully videos will be back on track starting now uh, and I'll be able to do more streams, get videos out on time uh, and get ahead, hopefully. I just keep rambling on and on and on in these videos. I'm sorry. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to slap that like button right in the face and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Stay cranky. Bye. What is up, my cranky crew?